Extreme Makeover White Loss Edition Season 4 Casting Directors, Producers, and Interns that have to uh, go through these videos. I appreciate it. I uh, just kind of wanted, I know it was a really bad acting. <laughs> really bad acting, but this, I wanted to kind of give you guys my routine. Um, that was me sleeping, by the way, if you didn't notice. Um, just wanted to go through. Uh, I am Jess Perica, 34 years old from Fraser, Michigan, 5'9", uh, 400 and... 69 pounds. So after I get up, I uh, it's been a routine for me each morning to uh, step on the scale as I'm pretty, you know, I usually as most of the time addicted to the scale. Let's see what it says this morning. Hello. It's ready. I love how it talks to me. <laughs> I was 523 pounds after last year's audition, um, I had actually gained weight. 469.8 pounds. So 469.8 as of today. So I've lost about 60 pounds uh, since last year's uh, season three's audition. So guys, I'm not gonna show. I'm I'm not gonna show you the exact act of going to the bathroom, but I am going to. Uh, explain myself in some pretty, um, pretty detail. Uh, using the restroom, public, whether it be at home, uh, at my place of employment, uh, is a big issue for me. I'm very self-conscious about using the bathroom. Uh, being as big as I am, I always have this issue where I don't feel um, clean. Um, maybe sometimes after I'm, I'm done wiping. So I will uh, bring wipes with me on vacation. Um, sometimes I carry little uh, wipes, and I'll show you those later, um, to work with me or, or when I'm leaving the house out in public. Uh, but there's a lot of times where uh, wiping for me, um, you know, and whether I'm clean or not, it just still still feels like I'm not, it's just, it's just something about me where I, you know, and I, I don't, not that anyone has ever, you know, told me you smell or anything like that. It's just a, just something within me. Um, and and I'm, I'm one of those people that I can't leave the house without taking a shower or, you know, I can't take my shower at nighttime, you know, sleep through the night and then just get up, put my clothes on and go to work. So, um, Wiping for me is also an issue uh, when we first moved into this house from the last house the last house had um, Some Bracing for me that I could put my arm on because um, as gross as this may sound um, Just because it is easier for me. I have to actually go underneath and almost <laughs> And I think that's another reason why I don't feel you know comfortable or feel like I'm clean I almost have to wipe back to front just to get you know clean and uh, most of the time what that leads to is me actually if I'm at home or at a hotel or anything like that after I use the restroom um, it's always routine like even in the morning I wake up I come in I weigh myself I use the you know use the bathroom and then you know wipe as good as I can and then boom I go right into the shower um and it's, that's just that's that's routine for me that's it's been like that every single day and I, I would hope where i don't have to feel like every single time or where i'm at i have to uh, take a shower every time that i want to use the bathroom or when i'm out in public because i'm so self-conscious about how i wipe and I'm thinking, even though I'm in an enclosed stall, I still think that people are going to see me and how I do it. And uh, so I always wait. You know, I won't use, I only use the handicap stalls. If the handicap stall is, is used at the moment, I, I book out and try to find another bathroom at work. And um, it's just something that I've dealt with for, for a very long time. In every place that I've lived, and this is why I love staying in hotels, is that hotel 
um, shower curtain. I'm not sure if you can see it exactly in the video, um, but it, it gives me more uh, elbow room because uh, most standard showers, I actually would rub and pull the curtain, and it just was not a good experience with uh, you know with taking a shower. Also have the um, shower head on a uh, you know coil here so that. Um, I can get to areas where I wouldn't normally be able to get to. Um, that also leads me to a loofah on a stick that I use um, to get to all the you know private parts and stuff like that uh, to clean on a, on a routine basis. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of that of what I go through. Um, you know, it's 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 a very tough process to do that. And doing it routine, you know, every single day. I know clean is routine, so I don't mean it like that. But uh, for me, it, it's it's just it's all these things lead up to just me feeling, you know, um, I just get down on myself about it. It's like to me, it's it's to me, it's been normal, but it's not supposed to be normal. The the the, the everyday routine that I go through. It's not normal for the average, you know, the, for normal, you know, most normal human beings. They don't have, they don't go, through, they don't realize what I, someone like me, obese person, has to go through each and every day of their lives. Wanted to show you guys the wipes that I use uh, on a daily routine. Uh, just normal uh, moist wipes that you can get from. Uh, like a Walmart, and this is what fulfills that um, that need for me to um, somewhat feel cleaner about myself uh, after um, I use the the restroom. And this is something that you know I don't know if you guys go back and look at last year. I didn't really touch on this, you know. I, I kind of left this to myself, but. Because um, I, I, I do, I get, I get angry and emotional about this all at the same time. Um, because I, I feel that um, th this isn't, th you're going you're gonna to hear me say a lot that it isn't normal. <laughs> and because, you know, I do, I do, you know, I, I talk to my friends, I talk to my family and, They don't do this. They, they, they don't do this. I do this. I have to do this. I don't have to. I can. This can all be fixed. I, I, I truly believe that. Um, with a lot of hard work and dedication, I can get to a point to where um, I can use these but I don't have to rely on these. And that's where I want to get to. Just show you, because this is what happens routine here at home. I'll look in the fridge. Uh, we need to go grocery shopping. So um, there, I know there's nothing in the fridge for me uh, at this point in time uh, to make for breakfast. So that's when it leads to this brown cabinet here. This brown cabinet is where I say the goodies are. That's where all the bad stuff is. So I'm gonna go in here, see what I can find. And right off the bat, the thing that sticks out to me, which is one of my favorite things, is brown sugar and cinnamon Pop-Tarts. You know, and the funny thing about this, guys, is I'll eat this, and then if I still go to work, you know, sometimes and don't feel like I'm full, or I happen to just, I may still stop in to the sundry shop. Um, a lot of times, you know, I don't. I, a lot of times I pass by this cabinet just out of sheer instinct because my day is so routine in the morning that. Uh, I, I book got out of here um, right at around you know 6, 6.05 after my mother-in-law um, comes and picks up my daughter. 
So, but these are, this is good stuff. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but this is this is routine. This is what I do. This is what I eat. And I don't even warm them up. I don't know if you guys eat pop tarts warmed up or not, but I don't even warm them up. I just do it like this. It's awesome. So here I am working out on the uh, elliptical for you guys. This is something that I usually, this is, this is my go-to machine when I come to the gym. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I do in my workouts here at the gym. Let's do push-ups. Oh, one. Do push-ups with two. Okay, do push-ups. Okay, go. One. Two. Two. Three. three four. four. You can Five. do it. Come on, Shelby. Six. You can do it, Daddy. <laughs> Seven. Come on, let's do it. Almost done. Eight. Can you do two more? <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay. Go. One. <laughs> two. Okay, One. let's do jump rope. Okay, Daddy. Let's do jump rope. Do jump rope. One. Two. Three. There's two things that I'm really like passionate about besides my family and that is technology obviously being in the field that I work in and you know I'm always and even even away from work I'm called the computer guy everybody always calls me to uh, fix their computer and then the second thing you know is 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 you know sports I'm very passionate mainly about baseball I grew up uh, in a baseball family. My mom was the baseball mom. My brother's five years older than me, so my mom would go from game to game because we played in different leagues. And, you know, my dad as well would go from, you know, game to game. And my dad was president of the of the baseball league. Um, dad, my dad was also uh, heavily involved until the day that he passed away in a local um, a charity to help out uh, needy families and he would distribute and us kids that's how we knew what Christmas was that's how we we grew up with Christmas uh, through my father and what he did for the community um, and that was basically just giving food and gift baskets to over you know 400 families um, each and every year and we would help to raise you know funds for um, for this program and uh, and I have not stepped on a baseball field. I don't even know if I've played catch in probably 15 years. I mean, I played organized baseball up until I was 19 years old, and I haven't played since, and uh, it kills me. Um, I had goals of signing up for this summer's um, softball team at my work, and uh, it just didn't, it just, 
didn't happen. I, 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 you know, I don't, I, I, mentally, and I just, I, I think I can, and I want to try, but I'm scared all at the same time. And I think if I, you know, like, one of my things is like, like that six month milestone or a milestone for me would be getting to play baseball. <laughs> um, and I'm passionate about the Detroit Tigers too. So one of my goals um, when I do get and drop, you know, drop the weight off is I am going to sign myself up for um, the Detroit Tigers have a fantasy baseball camp and you get to wear the uniform you know, you get to you get to play either in Florida or they have it here uh, in Detroit as well, and um, that's something that I'm gonna I'm shooting for. I I, I really want to do that. I wanna um, I wanna you know sign myself up for that, and uh, you know and be able to do that, be able to play baseball again, be able to just hear the bat off the hear, hear the ball off the bat. Feel, get the dust in my face, um, and put the uniform on, button it up. Just everything that I remember doing when I was a kid, and it's all—it's because of my weight. It's been all lost. I also use some what technology. You know, it's no real big name brand type stuff, but um, you know, I use a just a regular watch heart rate monitor, and um, I've had trouble trying to buy the more expensive because I don't know enough about it and actually finding uh, the heart rate monitors across my chest. Um, I, I have talked with you know a few of my friends in the weight loss community. I guess there is you can double up on the bands or whatever and make it work so I've not actually tried that yet. And then one of the things that I absolutely love and I've gone through two of them now because I lost the first one I've actually washed this thing uh, on a few occasions and it still ticks, it still gets a heartbeat. And that is um, my Fitbit. And I wear this each and every day and I shoot my goal, you know, being as big as I am. And I think it's a pretty big goal being as big as I am. I try to shoot for 10,000 steps and I walk a ton at work. My building at work is a quarter mile from one end to the other. So if I gotta go from one to the other, that's a half a mile just right there. Um, I do that often. If I can't fix the issue at work remotely, uh, I have to actually walk to the user's computer. So um, this thing is my little buddy, and I wear it and take it wherever I go. This uh, this this accounts for a lot of my you know recent success, and um, I just want to continue it. I want to continue it. I want to I want to go hardcore with this. That's that's my message is. I, I really, really, really want to just go dive in head first and take on this um, this this transformation. Like, like I want to do a big. <laughs> Let's just say that. Whoa. Is, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> chubby kid he's grown up to be a very large man and uh, over all these years I uh, I've backed him up and supported him on this little bit but I'd have to say in the last five or six years I've kind of just shied away from discussing the whole weight issue with Jess and the programs that he's tried and the programs that haven't worked for him um, I guess my biggest thing is is I've seen him go through a lot of different programs and they haven't been successful for him 
and he, uh, you know, hypes it up to us, hypes it up to me, you know, and we stand back and watch, and some of the results haven't been as good as I personally feel they should have been. So uh, I kind of just sit back in the distance and watch him do his thing, and, you know, if he loses weight on a few diets, you know, like pat him on the back, but uh, I'm not his number one supporter on this. It's just because I've seen him fail at this so much that I'm waiting to see something big happen so he can throw it in my face and prove me wrong. Um, there's nothing more I want to see than him to lose a bunch of weight and then look at me and say, look, you SOB, I showed you I can do it. All I want him to do is just prove me wrong. Hi, my name is Bonnie Parika, and I'm Jess's mother. And uh, Jess has struggled most of his life, childhood, adult years, and uh, even now as we speak, on all different diets. Uh, he's had ups and downs, and I totally encourage him to keep looking for the right one. And maybe if you give him a chance and you take him on, you could be saving his life. And he definitely would do all and everything that you asked him for. He's a good guy and I love him. Hi, I am the wife of Jess Perica Jr. My name is Amy. And I am here to tell you why you should pick him to be on your show. He really needs to lose a lot of weight. Not only for the health of it, because obviously losing a lot of weight is a healthier way of living. Um, he would get rid of a lot of his back problems. And his um, he recently has ankle problems now. So I know all of that would go away. And... Um, but the main reason why he needs to lose weight is for our children. We have a two and a half year old daughter and one on the way and he needs to lose this weight so he can be here for his children. I want them to have a father who is a role model and who uh, is, I want them to look at him as their hero. He needs to show them how to live a healthy lifestyle and I want him to live a long life so he can see them grow up and graduate high school and college I hope and get married and hopefully have children of their own and with the way he's living his life now um, I will be a widow with two young kids soon I believe and I need him to lose this weight so he can be here for me and the kids and help help out with them raising them and also you know they're going to school soon and kids are very mean to each other and I don't want our children to be bullied by these kids at school making fun of them because their father is fat because I see it now when we go out to uh, places like especially restaurants I see these kids look at him, laugh, and snicker, and point. I don't know if he sees it, but I've seen it, and I don't want that to happen to our children. So that's the main reason why he needs to be on this show, for our children. Thank you. What's up, guys? I wanted to come on real quick, you know, because I had some thoughts going on in my head, and I thought that I should... Uh, share them with you guys. You know, um, there there comes a point in time where uh, you, you just don't have any excuses anymore. You just got to put in the hard work to get what, you just got to do work. You, you, you know, you, you got to 
man up and I think I need to man up and be the father and the husband that I'm supposed to be and uh, I, I think that's where you know this show really ties into me um, figuring that out and and completely transforming my life both mentally physically you know emotionally um, you know with my family and I had a conversation with with, with a friend just recently where you know I kind of you know I kind of talked to them about you know because uh, they, they've known me and, and they know you know my history as far as with this mentor back when I was nine years old and how uh, you know he um, just abandoned me pretty much you know abandoned the program abandoned us kids and uh, to me that you know I, I I had that's why I'm on the that's why I'm on the film on film right now, on camera because uh, I this just this thing came over me where I was like wow you know I I abandon everything. I, you know, that's what I feel like right now. And I don't, I don't want to feel. I don't want to feel like this anymore. I feel like I'm abandoning my family. Uh, it's like I'm falling down the same path, the same habits. I'm, and. I desperately need to be here and I desperately am fearing that six months from now when I'm supposed to meet my new baby that something might happen to me I am your candidate for this show I, I, I truly am positively and your candidate for the show. And last year, I made it as a semifinalist. You guys all know that. And respectively, you, I wasn't ready. You guys seen that? I, I wasn't ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I am definitely ready this year for this opportunity. For I'm ready for this, and I, I want to prove that. I want to prove that to you. I want to prove that to Chris Powell. I want to prove it to my family, who desperately need me. I, I help keep, you know, this this train going, and uh, I it 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 kills me inside to know that there's a real strong possibility that um, I, I won't be here and miss out. Uh, on a bunch of opportunities with my wife and with my family. So with that being said, I, I hope that um, if in anything, I've that I've inspired you guys because I, I want you guys to know just how much you've inspired me. And that's coming from the bottom of my heart, guys. Uh, thank you very much, Jess Perica. 34 years old, Fraser, Michigan, 5'9", 469 pounds. I'm the next person to be on Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition Season 4. I, I, I believe it, and I'm hoping that you guys believe it too.